Hello everyone and welcome to some Duma Boards Project number 28 testing Fear and Loathing. This is a map titled Nausea by my good friend Big Old Billy and for this Duma Boards Project the theme is taking cues from neither classic Doom nor from the recent Doom games of the last five years, but from none other than 2004's Doom 3 with that picture of the Martian surface on the title screen. So how about we get started testing Billy's contribution to this. 327 monsters. This is played blind through GZ Doom on the Ultra Violence difficulty. And the Fist and Pistol do have a flashlight attached to them in this mod. Oh, and that reminds me, I definitely want my comp I definitely want my mouse options to have or always mouse look turned off I was using that for another level I tested before this one <coughs> yep that's Martian Lava though the quiet enough stout and that's HUD you see in the tab about light reverb from what I heard, a lot of that is to actually help the designers, so if you're a viewer, you can just ignore it, probably. Mm -hmm. Oh, Marine. It's a damn blacking sprite, though. I'd have it possibly be a... I'd possibly have a wounded Marine be a blacking sprite. <laughs> Looks like I got the... Gonna be falling in the lava here. To grab some rockets. Big old Billy's first action is with the rocket launcher this time around. So it looks like we'll be getting a shot. Oh wait, no, there's only... I thought those were shotgunners, but they're not. And somehow these smaller look these smaller demons still manage to look scarier than the ones in classic Doom. Not to mention they're also they're making some sound effects. And those are those Oh, that almost looked like a pain elemental to me at first, but it's a Keiko demon. They just got some stuff attached to them. Uh oh. I don't think I can return here. Oh. Revenant next. Keiko demons are low on line than Revenant or hit scan outs. It looks like that's a no turning back point and I didn't grab all the items. I hope I can get back later when I'm testing for 100%. Oh. 
Might be nice to equip my pistol in this doubt. Hey. Oh, well, well. Now that is... That is from the stout screaming potential going down in Spallation. Walking into the mouth of a demon of some kind. Also, why is this out vial only giving me 14% damage? Or 20% damage? For some reason, the out vials are only giving me the basic 20% damage instead of the full 80% damage. I don't know if that's intended or not, but it's a big gameplay difference. And if it isn't, and if it isn't intended, I don't know if it's a bug with the level or with the wad. Like with the resources. Either way, I killed him without being blasted at all anyways. That's a secret? I kind of didn't consider the secret to go behind the blood fall, but okay. I would think the ouch valve would kind of tell you there's a secret now. Man, you guys are gray. Come on, gather up. Let me shoot you. Well, Billy did state in the thread itself that there's some going down inspiration in this map. Which is not surprising. It's one of his favorite wads, if not his favorite. It's also one of my favorite wads I've played and I wish I'd played it with live commentary. Maybe one day I'll re-record it, but that could be a ways off. But it depends on what I've got to do, I guess. I go where the interest is. Looks like we are entering the base with another wounded marine. I guess we've bet we better go in here and clean this up because he's too wounded to help us. Yeah. Oh well. This is probably a good time to be using the pistol if the man shows up weak because. I can see things a little better. Oh. I heard some chain gun. Someone was shooting a chain gun. Nope, that isn't a shootable switch. Yep. Oh, they use a chain gun, but they don't drop a chain gun. I guess they use a, a rifle, kind of, so... The pistols and Berserk are uh, extra useful given that they have a flashlight on them in dark areas. Okay, now where do we go? F where do I go from here? Do I have to shoot that? Nope, it's offline and you don't just shoot it to tell make it online. None of these doors work. 
There's a, this door, there's this door, this door, this door, this door, but none of them do anything. All of them need to be remotely activated somehow. Oh, and I think getting in the center will take care of that. Oh, he delivers a blow. Still nice to punch a demon. Oh. For this level though, I want to actually be in... Doom compatibility mode, I believe, because these DBPs are limit removing sets. Oh, I have to remember that I do not want to mistake one of those for being just zombie men. They are a lot more dangerous than zombie men now. And they don't give you a chain gun. You see. That's n it's a only a mild flashlight, but it is a flashlight. Well, I didn't see you at all. I hold you. Now that I know that's the sound of a bell and I can put two and two together, I just no, it's the sound of a hell knight. I think I can see you good enough that I'll use a better weapon for you. Come on, I like this theme. Let's have more people submit maps to this DBP. That's almost about to be the 15th as I'm playing this and it's the only submitted map so far, so hopefully the second half of the month will yield more. Interesting, it seems like I've explored a lot of the map, but only have 76 of 327 kills. Cause I know on which side a couple months ago, Big Old Billy handled a lot of those kills with Impacalypse. So, maybe a similar thing here. I doubt exactly the same because good authors don't recycle the concepts quite that frequently. Oh, we are now at the center of the base. Okay, it does damage. I was checking the damaging floor to do damage. The blood does not do damage. Whoa. Those things are dangerous. Oh, well, those were shotgun Of course they're gonna be dangerous. Well, a lot of items that I can't pick up. I don't know if they're gonna be a secret later or not. So now I get my chain gun. Got some nice sound effects. That's a bonus for playing in source ports. Oh, I love the chain gun. Too bad I got wine out of ammo. You need a blue key and the yellow key to activate those Duke Nukem 3D switches.
Is that a radio? Still one of my favorite levels in 25 years on Earth is that level that uses we built this city as a music just because I've got nostalgia for the song I guess. Heard it a lot more than the many of the other musics. Okay, looks like I cannot jump and grab those items because of the barrels now. Now we've got a super shotgun, aka double barrel shotgun. Many more items currently unreachable. Uh oh. That's a nasty sound. <laughs> and now that we have a chain gun, they can big old Billy can start using chain gun nose. They won't net us an extra weapon that we don't already have. <laughs> yep, that key alternating spikes is a known bug in the resource wad, so I don't will really, it kind of impossible to not point out, but it also doesn't need to be pointed out. I like the new spike, just make it new all the time, please. Okay, this, this just feels like some kind of build-up. That I've this much of the map explored and I'm missing almost two thirds of the kills. So I'm guessing I need to find a blue key as well to make anything happen. Big ol' Billy isn't gonna build us up to a climax that isn't there. I don't think he's a noob who would make that kind of mistake. Well, he's certainly not a noob, and I don't think he would embrace that kind of design. But so, but we have a nice low-key fighting thus far to keep us busy. A BFG we can't get unsurprisingly. Okay, well those fights are obviously meant to be non-blocking given those items behind them. Really, it's only the wounded marine I'm wondering about. Okay, that's... Oh, that's which though. It activated, but it didn't animate. That might be known as well. I think Billy posted something about a switch that didn't animate. But I'll mention it just in case. In Z-Port, which I am using a Z-Port because... Need either G, Z, Doom, or P, L, Boom to get the full experience. Now I've got both keys, and the machinery's turning, and I've got to activate the other key switch. Nope, that was where I got the yellow key. This is where I can use the switches. <coughs>
Okay, enough build up. We BFG. But not that much ammo for it. That the, well, there's ammo for it, but I do have to find the ammo. Revenants are good food for rockets. Go get all those items that I couldn't grab earlier. Save my BFG shot remaining 60 cells for when I might actually really, really need it. Nope. Well, that was a GAD suicide. Good at dooming when I shoot a rocket into myself. Okay. This is turning into a fight because I need to... This is probably the safest holding point if I can establish the holding point here. And I can't open that door that the revenants came out of. But keep in mind that eventually I'm gonna would like to make it in that area. Except there's not much to get if I make it in that area. Like a health bonus maybe. Oh, ouch, Val. And I don't... I can't even absorb the basic 20. There must be a pain elemental among the bunch. Let me see. The master count increased. That could be because of either the outfile or because of a pain elemental. Keiko demons have the green eyes. Keiko Demons also leave a corpse behind. Well, Pain Elementals typically don't. <laughs> Not how to GAD when you have only 6% health. Okay, I stepped in there, picked up the health bonus. Something opened up behind me. I need to be able to stay in there long enough to see what's actually happening. Okay, it's a touch plate of some kind. And if I'm standing right on the touch plate, the masters won't teleport in because they can't actually teleport in to telefrag me. I first found that out in a map in Evolution by one of the keys in Mill. If I'm standing on top of a teleport destination, then the monsters cannot actually teleport in and teleflag me. But I'm also going to assume that it's not, that it's not, the, it, I'm hoping at least it's not supposed to be mandatory that you run in the open door that only the monsters can open. Oh, I didn't say since I killed the outfall. It's time to get that rocket launcher back out. The monster, all the Keiko demons, where's the pain elemental? Or is it really just a bunch of lost souls? No, the monster count is increasing. It's, oh, but there's an outfall there too. Remember probably to take a look into... Well, I can't... I don't know how much damage the outvals are doing if I don't have enough health for it. Come on, just... Let me fall down cleanly, please. 
Well, some well in which I left some health behind. This is tough and I love tough, so... Oh, there's a berserk. That's a quintessential health we charge. Yep. It's another big old billy battle with a lot of imps, but it feels different enough from what I coined as Impocalypse in which side. Imps are good side though. They don't have a lot of health, but they're not hit scandals. I'd say it reminds me of which side, but I wouldn't go as far as saying it feels like a recycle or shouldn't be done. Well, finding the invulnerability will should be a good toning point. I've got to wash that out by all. Impacalypse 2 isn't gonna get any better if one of those are alive. I guess I talk about using a lot of imps, but there's really not another enemy that, unless you make a custom enemy, that you can use in that quantity in a similar way. Those are Mega Steel 2 that it would be a good time to pick up. I wonder were there actually any pain elementals or were those just lost souls? I couldn't identify what a pain elemental looked like if there were some. Oh, okay, there's a floor panel that opens that door, which has a very nice touch plate behind it. Uh-oh. I think I need to... This is probably all about tagging. I can't... Oh, wait a minute. So that door opens now, too. I must have been in there and used the touch plate already. I don't know exactly what mechanic exactly triggers these doors opening and closing. Hopefully Big Ol' Billy will explain that. Make sure it's a safe mechanic and one that can't break and soft lock, for instance. Yep, we're probably almost done with the map after Impacalypse 2. Okay, those are not just lifts I can activate. Oh, another touch plate. Yep, I know you you really have the map should give actually gives me an indication that a good indication that there's four of them. Now it looks like I'll be able to ride this lift. And I'll get that bike back where I started from. 
Oh, why can't you come? And I'm coming. Mm, I gotta get the right back to where I started from. Okay, I. And that's the end, I guess. I guess Impacalypse was the climax here again. So this was similar to which side are you on in that there was Impacalypse and you return to the beginning to end the... You return to the beginning area to end the level, but you didn't actually retrace your steps through the beginning area and it was a completely different level before that. Although you do, you do go from outside to inside, but in a very different way. I need to confirm a hundred percent. Okay, so for 100%, I do let myself use cheat mode. Because all I'm really doing is making sure that it's possible to get 100%. That backpack secret, and but I wonder if there's a way to actually grab it before the end. Because I don't. If you have to get to the end of the level already to grab the backpack secret, I would think it would be useful only in continuous. Don't know. Oh, that's what I'm missing. I need to show items and monsters so I can know what I'm missing kills. Okay, no more kills I'm missing there. 341 out of 3 4 something other than 1. Secrets are 2 out of 3. It's this one on the inside area that also has a man stone that, that I haven't found yet. I need to watch for count items as well, which are pink and Yup. Gonna it <coughs> I'm gonna it clip here because I know I could have routed in a way that doesn't make me go around again and grab all these items. <coughs> Certainly like the sounds. Okay, I think most of what I've left is on the inside. Very nice entry to the base here. Great, that's not just a standout secret, I, that looks like a more involved secret. Which means if it is... Well, I can, actually I can see it, so I can kill the imp there. 3, 4, 2 out of... Okay, I gotta get on the flesh. In order to get my these items. Uh, 
and the infidel can go away. Oh, okay, though. I can just walk, grab these items. How am I for? Okay, I've got the 100% items. I just need to find every what kills in secret. Need to find the secret I'm missing, and it does appear I'm still missing at least one kill. Whoa! I like those sounds, whatever they, however they are made. Do they just shoot into the backs? I see there's a plasma cell there. But how do I get to that? See, it looks like I need to build a bridge or something. Also, one thing, let me check something. That exit is showing as a teleporter to the same map. I'm wondering why it's not showing as a teleporter to a different map. But where am I missing a man still? There'll be a brown triangle for a man still. No, that's a white triangle. That's not a man style. Come on, please don't make me bore big old Billy. Almost a tongue twist out there because I can't find what the man style I'm missing is. It's obviously not inside at any point that he can see me right now. I'm gonna assume I, that... There is a way to find this secret. I was thinking I could blow out the power box with the rocket, but... I'm gonna do my standout thing I do with secrets and say, Assuming it is possible to grab this secret, then it'll be possible. See, I'm missing a... If I could get on one of the pillows, then I could jump all of them and get to the end. Rushing my way to the secret. I know I'm not supposed to be jumping, but I'm just... I could do the same thing by exiting here. If there was a full pillow bridge all the way across, then I could do it. But not with only four pillows. Not with this big gap. <coughs> Is there anywhere high enough up that I could run and land on the pillow jumping sequence? Oh! They lower! That's what the lift sound is, okay. So, I see that the one. I still got to land on the bottom of the pillow, though, in order to. So, this is a good little exercise. Okay. Now I just need to handle strafe running. And they got your secret. Last secret. Now the only question is where's the remaining kills? I found all I didn't have to I ultimately figured out how to find all three of the secrets. It's now all about the kills. I mean make sure I don't have a hundred percent. Oh wait a minute! Okay, I was completely unaware there was another air that there was another area. Also, it seems like something's hurting me, but I'm not losing any health. Like, see, I've got 189, 185. 
it looks like I'm taking damage, but I still got 189, 185. Oh, it's the bosses. Which good to not just instantly cheese a ball. Another wounded marine. Sorry, Billy, I thought I was done with you, Matthew. You fake me out on that one. Almost like you're expecting... Were you expecting that because I played which side and it had a very similar progression that I... that I... think that was the exit and the fight with the imp was the last major fight? Oh, they can grab... But why not just BFG watch them? If you don't want me BFG washing, then don't give me a BFG. Simple enough, isn't it? Okay, 349 out of 34 something. Which the highest thing that could be 34 something is 349, so that means I have all the all the kills. <laughs> Now the question is how to open up the exit. If you could use the hacked actions, then you could just have it be when they're all dead. Actually, my IDDT indicates there's a teleport there, which I shouldn't have done IDDT if I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't have if I thought there was more map, but... It does turn out that I'm just stuck with and the puzzles now. No, I D B E H O L D L would be cheating. Got to find this exit myself. That indented wall looks suspicious, but it doesn't do anything. Okay, let me give myself... Oh, well, I nobody have my flashlight enabled. Let me give myself full light and see if I can... See if there's something that I ain't seeing easily. Like there's a switch hidden on one of these pillows. Okay, I don't know how this exit's supposed to work. And I don't want to spend a really long time when the level hasn't been tested so far. It might just be a bug. I would think there would be a solution somewhere in here, like... Yeah, that's a teleport pad, all right, but it's not available to me. Yeah, let me just... Oh! 
that's a very nice little exit you've got, though. Oh, and it's a death exit. Well, or prob I saw a red line. It's probably a... It might be a death exit only if you don't have enough health for it. Yeah, it doesn't have to be a death exit. But if you're low on health, you'll death exit so you're not stuck in the level. Yeah, I can't figure out how to get to the exit here. Watching me just wall hump everything isn't fun, so I'm just gonna say, um, it's a good level, another good level with a few. Th oh, I love that these pillow shadows, by the way. With a few things to iron out, maybe those thing. Make sure it's. Possible to actually activate the exit. If you could make the impacalypse area a little bit less similar to which side and you have an idea for it, then I would say go ahead and try that. But it might be kind of hard to do that. There's really no replacement for an imp. That fake out ending definitely caught me. Despite the fact that I failed to find the real ending. And I'm not sure if I would give the BFG or just give a plasma gun where the BFG was because the BFG not even being in a secret makes the last fight kind of easy if the b if the bfg was only in a secret then this last fight would have had some more teeth to it so other than that i didn't see anything on the aesthetics front oh and but how why <coughs> However why that outvial only gave me the basic 20% damage, if that's not intended in this mod, it needs to be figured out why that's happening. I hope it's not a GZ Doom bug that could be affecting me in other mods. I think I'm gonna call that a video if you enjoyed this video. Sorry that I was kind of like just kind of had an extended ending. If you enjoyed this video, my videos in general, please feel free and welcome to comment. I always appreciate them. And. <coughs> There should be a link in the description to subscribe and also to other playlists I've been working on. And also a subscription link in the video. And I do take requests if you have them, especially playtesting. So let me end on a 100% tally screen that somehow I'm presuming is possible to exit. And... This is Catcom 1. I'll see you in the next video.